Hello everyone, it's Rebecca here and welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a little bit of a different one. Kind of. Hello, welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hello, welcome, my name's Rebecca and today I am sharing the books that I bought when I was in Edinburgh nearly two months ago now. So we've come to you from a different part of the bookshelves. I'm sat down because I'm lazy, but also because literally this is the tidiest part of my bookshelves, which is very, very, very worrying. So we're also on 6%, so we're just gonna get cracking. Um, the, the idea of this video is that I want to showcase some vlog footage and also tell you about the books that I bought. So, and try not to spill my pop everywhere. I didn't spill it everywhere, it's all good. We went to Edinburgh in June for a few days and this happened. went through all of the bookshops pretty much apart from Golden Hair and I did pick up a few things. So the first one I want to talk about is Edinburgh Books. Now these live just up from the old town so you go past Armchair Books which is a place that unfortunately I didn't get to go in because it was closed but I'll just put some footage in here of my trip to Edinburgh Books. Edinburgh Books was this little nook of just magic really. It really reminded me of Black Books. If I remember I'll put a picture up here. The guy in there actually reminded me of the guy from Black Books as well just in every kind of way and in I didn't want to go empty handed and I didn't want to buy a tote bag with nothing in it so I picked up this. This is the first four books of the Earthsea series by Ursula K. Le Guin and I heard of this from Ashley through a frolic through fictions Le Guin along which they kind of stop doing after a while because the stories got worse <laughs> but I didn't want to leave this shop empty-handed and I didn't want to pick up a classic at the time so I went with this one there was plenty of copies of this but I thought you know what it's worth a try it's a lot it's four books in here even if I break it down it's not the end of the world so I picked this one up and the tote bag obviously next up we went to Toppings and Co or Topping and Co in Edinburgh and this is just down from the View Cinema which is just down from the main street, at the end of the main street. In here we have several books that I bought. I will put some footage in here of where we went in Topping Zenbra. It was very pretty.
So in this shop, I could have spent literally hours in here. It was just so big. I didn't even explore it all. It was the shop with the ladders. I put an Instagram post up. It was very, very beautiful. I picked up two books, technically three, but one of them was for Vanessa. The first of which that I picked up was Nixia Uprising by Scott Rington. This is the sequel to Nixia, which I read when I got it in an Illumicrate box in 2016, 2017. Really, really enjoyed it. And this follows on from that. It's about some some kids who basically become space cadets and they have to fight a battle. If you like Aurora Rising and you don't want the dramatics of JK, I recommend this one. Well, the first one. I haven't read the second one, obviously. And then we also have Sister Song by Lucy Holland. This is a signed first edition and honestly, you know what? I'm so excited to have this in my possession. Even though I went to Goldsboro, which I'll tell you about in another time, um, but there's the signature and they had the limited edition for like 50 quid. This one was the same price as a regular hardback. So very, very happy to have this one in my hands. This one is a hyped up book as well. Because I'm on 1%, I'm not gonna tell you about what I, the synopsis behind them all, but fingers crossed this lasts. So, so on our walk back to the hotel, we went to Waterstones and this happened. off we have One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston because I haven't read Red, White and World Blue so why wouldn't I want another book by that author? I then picked up The Girl in the Walls. This is a signed exclusive edition which is $12.99 but look at that. I mean this is around, this is about basically like magical, magical house of some sort and there's a girl hidden in the walls or something. It sounds creepy, it sounds magical, I'm here for that. Again beautiful. And then this one was the one that I went in for which was The Firekeeper's Daughter by Angeline Booley. This one has been on my radar for quite a while. Picked up the hardcover edition and I think it's actually shorter, ever so slightly, than this one. Um, but I picked this one up. I will leave a link to all of the books I mentioned down below. And because we are on short time that is it for the video obviously um, it's going to be a lot longer than the five minutes it took me to film this but i'll leave a link to all of the books down below that i have mentioned along with full synopsis you know that i love to chat but honestly the battery's about to die so i can't if you're in that description box you'll find a link to all my social media channels along with uh, all the books mentioned please go check them out if you want to purchase them in the uk they are bookshop.org uk affiliate links so it would really help me out if you did and i shall speak to you all soon with another video leave a book stack in the comments down below if you've made it this far but don't know what to say or are interested in any of the books let me know and maybe we can have a chat bye